Sustainable railroad ties, specifically ties made from recycled plastic, has been a long time coming. For a system that runs round the clock, like the MTA's New York City Transit or the Staten Island Railroad Satoa, very often it's difficult to take a pause to step back to introduce new sustainable technologies into the mix. In a strange way, Superstorm Sandy was an opportunity. When an act of nature hits the pause button for us, we are actually able to take that opportunity as we have in the case of St. George to try a new technology like recycled plastic railroad ties. As part of the replacement and reconstruction with all new components, we chose to use the engineer composite ties. Engineer composite ties, they are typically called plastic ties, but that's a misnomer because it's really recycled plastic and only certain kinds of plastic. And that recycled plastic is mixed with uh, fiberglass fibers and some epoxy and the whole mix is baked basically at high temperatures. But they come with very unique properties as you might expect. They are very resistant to water. They have a, a great deal of torsional flexibility so they actually end up damping some of the noise and vibrations that emanate from a train running over steel rails. And of course they are made from a renewable or recyclable resource that otherwise perhaps would have gone into a landfill. So for these reasons, it was very, very attractive to us. This particular installation is to the tune of approximately 7,500 ties. It is, of course, a small part of the larger universe of ties for the MTA, but it's a big start for us. And if this proves successful and it does everything that we are hoping it will do, we will go ahead and deploy this further and further. <laughs>